It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1861, recorded Thursday, June 28th, 2018. Filming Under the Influence. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we still have a gadget from CE Week, then we head on over to Pepcom to see what's fresh, and I have my last gadget of the summer fun gadgets. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. now! Now! And here he is, the Prime Minister of Gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great myself. Doing good. Good. You know, I have to thank you for mentioning Google Home Mini. Yeah! Because I instantly bought one, you know, they're fifty dollars. Yeah. They're fifty bucks, 50 bucks, and I found one on eBay, uh, thirty-four fifty, free shipping. Nice. Uh, new and I plugged used. it in, brand new, brand in a sealed new. box. Brand new in a oh sealed box. Okay, and it came last night, and I downloaded the app, and the very first thing I said to it, oh, let's, <laughs> it's probably not going to work now. Okay, Google. Play the Gizwiz. Oh. All right. Here's where you stopped in the Gizwiz audio. It uh, knows. It knew it. It doesn't it knew get it, it wrong. That's amazing. It knew it. It said, here's the latest episode of the Gizwiz, episode, whatever it was, 1670, phony, below, whatever we yeah. call it. Yeah, and yeah. it started playing it. Shake and I your thought, booties. I think yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Why did I ever bother with... I know. Amazon, who still, after all these years, does not I know. know. Uh, I mean, in the in the hierarchy of things with Amazon, it should be weather, news, stocks, gizwiz. the gizwiz. Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. I, I agree. Exactly. I'm glad our priorities still... <laughs> are the same. Uh, you know, I, I'm to a total convert, a complete and utter convert, because I use, um, I don't know what you call them, home assistants, the home assistants all the time. I use it to set alarms when I'm cooking. I use it to ask the weather, ask what day it is, like the uh, like the the, the the time of day. Um, and also, I use it a lot to spell things because I'm dyslexic. So I'll ask it to you know how do you how do you spell phenomenon? Um, oh my whatever. god! I never thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Google has been so much better. And, ever, and all the time, I think of these little things that Google can answer that that my Echo could never touch. Can't yeah. get close to it. Um, like, just ask ask your Google how to make um, chicken soup. Okay, Google, how do I make chicken soup? Okay, I... Oh, I, I'm getting this, this <laughs> volume... <laughs> That's all it took, you know? <laughs> okay, Google, how do I make chicken soup? Okay, I've got a recipe called homemade chicken soup from all recipes. Does that sound good? Yeah, great, thanks. No problem. And? Oh, oh and, and, uh, normally it'll say step one. And tell, I'll tell you the step one and you tell me to move on. Is oh, normally okay. what it does. So it'll yeah. say it, it takes 15 steps. Step one is okay. to do this. Let me know when you're ready for the next step. And you know, like part that. of it's it like, is uh, I think I have to get used to not holding it at the sides because yeah. the, the sides adjust. Now you, uh, you went away to receive an honor. What was it? <laughs> hey, Google, stop. Okay, okay. So to DC. <laughs> okay, Google, stop. Okay. <laughs> And you don't have to hold it, you know, you can just leave it. Oh, right yeah, there. I know that. I just didn't want to. It, <laughs> exactly. It, it's over uh, yeah, in a bad place. You wanted place. to be able anyway, to. Anyway. Yeah, it's the great. PR40 I, is so I, good I at love this thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you're interested in one, uh, check eBay. Just uh, search for Google Home Mini, and you'll probably find the place selling them for $34.50. Or if you want to wait 
um, isn't it like the crazy app? Uh, Amazon Prime Day is coming, and I read that Google often puts their devices up at the same prices that they put the Echo up for. Yeah. So uh, in July, in about two weeks, they should be on sale too. I've, I've been able to snag Google Home Minis for really inexpensive um, in a few different ways. Um, I think they were running a, a, a thing with Walmart actually at one point. Walmart. I, I, yeah. I, when I read that, it, but it was yeah. in December. It yeah. was buy one for $35 yeah. and get a $25 gift certificate. Yeah. Exactly. So it ended up co- if you use the gift certificate, it cost you five dollars, and yeah. it was a it was to use on Google Home, uh, Google Express, and so yeah. I ended up buying the speakers that I use in my Honda Civic. Actually, so I essentially got a five dollar Google Home Mini. Um, wow. So yeah, yeah Scooter X said that he got them on Black Friday for twenty nine dollars, and each one came with a ten dollar gift card. Yeah. So there's ways bucks. if you wait just a bit. Um, and don't, you know, just pull the trigger immediately, then you can get them for very inexpensive. And I, if you're looking into the home assistance, the Google uh, home assistant. That's the way to go. The way to go. For sure. For sure. Um, Okay. Okay. Let's jump into some more games. Let's jump into the show. Okay. So there was CE week. uh, I guess, I guess it was last week or the week before. Anyway, there was one gadget left over from CE week I thought was interesting. So let's take a peek at that. We found something called iTemp, and I got a press release about it, so we're going to find out what it is. It's like a safety gadget, and Jeff is going to tell us what it does. Okay, so everybody here has probably used a smoke alarm, and basically, and everybody's also left their house, my wife has, where you either leave your oven on, your your curling iron on, maybe even your dryer or your washer gets hot. We're in alert. Smoke alarm's too late. A smoke alarm is reactive. We're proactive. Basically, what iTemp is, is it's it's attached to a Wi-Fi in your home, in your house, a Wi-Fi network, and it's an app on your phone. The minute you leave your house, the first thing it will do is tell you you left something on. And what's on your table over here? Okay, so over here is basically uh, the actual pot, and basically the... Uh, Is every one of these the same? Yes. Or, or when you buy four, four are the same. Right, and here, um, no, these are all the same, but each one has a different, um, it's all set up differently depending on the appliance you're loaded into. It It all has a different ID based on your okay. different appliance. And, and, and I, I sent the ID to these through my cell phone? You will, you will monitor it. It will be like on the Apple store. It will be on, it will be on your Android store. It will be, once you're out of the house, you just load it up. Okay, okay. So uh, I can you tell... You it through your, through your phone once you leave your house. Oh, okay. So when, when I order them, do I tell you I have uh, an electric heater, I have an oven? No, the, I, the, the instructions on the, on, the, uh, on the phone will tell you how to, where to place it on each device and specifically what the instruction is for be it a toaster versus a coffee pot versus a panini maker versus a dryer. All right, so, oh, now on this one, it's right on the appliance. Well, they'll all be right on the appliance. That's oh, they, they all are. Okay. Right, so, clear that up oh, okay. Every one of them is loaded. Here's the oh, candle. I see. These are just examples. Okay, the candle, it's on that. And this is supposed to be a barbecue? This is just to get, yeah, this is supposed to be a little, uh, like, cooktop. We just want to get the flames going so people know, know we're talking about fire. Oh, I mean, okay. the main thing... Um, Danielle is so obsessed to making this work is really about fire safety because like I said it started that way with her which her house almost burnt down that's why she came up with the idea and there's so many different smoke alarms but there's not a lot of fire alerts so basically that's, that's a great we idea up with it. is it itemp.com i-temp.com i-temp.com I think Thank you so much oh that's okay I think it's a great idea Dickie Bartolo Mads Metis right in the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv CE Week that's uh, that's great as as long as the first thing to catch on fire is not your Wi-Fi router. Everything will be <laughs> fine. Well, you know that's a very that's very interesting. No, I see a use for this for <clears throat> people who might tend to leave things on, right? Because w- when you program it, you can also program in three phone numbers of people who could go to your house. And in case it's, it sends you uh, an alarm that your 
your toast has now been on for 90 minutes. <laughs> Doesn't seem normal to, to right. us. Right. And I think they're going to set up a, a, a call service where if the three people don't answer, then a live person will. I don't know exactly do what, but uh, I, it's something brand new. I'd never even heard of this before. And at first I didn't grasp what it was, is that you actually attach these modules, which are roughly $30 each, to the appliance so that it will be able to monitor what it's doing. Yeah, seems nice. I, I could yeah. definitely see this also for, um, like, the el elderly care. You know, if maybe you have someone who lives not too far away from you, who's who's you know independent in their home, but you still want to monitor um, certain things that you could say need to be watched with caution. Um, I could see that as as yeah, yeah. Good. That, that's a, a perfect example. You know, even the iron if they leave the iron right. on, yeah. And uh, it, it seems reasonable. Yeah, uh, twenty nine bucks. bucks. Yeah, thirty yeah, bucks. Exactly. <laughs> Be like, yeah, for sure. Throw these on everything. Make sure, no yeah, nothing goes wrong. Uh, uh, yeah, and the Android is uh, iOS, and uh, the app rather is iOS and Android. Uh, okay, so then over to Pepcom. Uh, a couple things this week, and then a few more next week. So let's go to Pepcom for the first new gadget. One take data here at Pepcom. This is the I was going to say the spring event. But I think today's the first day of summer, so it's their spring-summer event. We're looking for gadgets, and we passed Backtrack. And, you know, we've talked about Backtrack before. Very important. They do uh, alcohol analyzers. Is that right? Alcohol okay. Testers, uh, an uh, alcohol testers. Testers. Okay. And so you have something new, Stacy? Yes. Today we have a brand new product that we're launching. It's called the Backtrack C8. And this is the first product that will actually give you an estimate of when you'll be sober, when you'll be at 0, 0.0. Well, you know what? I, I thought we did a, a backtrack like a while back where it did tell you that. Th that is, that's the Backtrack Mobile. So this is our flagship product. This product works with an app, and that app will tell you when you're zero. And now we heard from, we heard from our users, and they said, sometimes I don't want to use the app. So we created the Backtrack C6, ah. which will give you so it tells your BAC you on the screen, on the followed device. by your zero line. Yes. And optionally, you can use the product so with an app thing. as well to get the extra features that the app provides. Oh, oh okay, okay. So now, uh, can I blow into that? You hear a click, that's Point nine. Click. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. That's so funny you said that. Wait a minute, you'll see. <laughs> Zero, zero, zero. Oh, zero alcohol. Okay, you know what I'm going to do now? Do you have another uh, mouthpiece? Okay, while our cameraman, Dennis Wonderling, is filming, we are putting on another mouthpiece, and we're going to have him do it because... <laughs> He's been drinking. Uh, he has had a couple of drinks. <laughs> it says warming up. You can show that. Okay, five, four, what? So it's five, three, two, one. And there's a four in Okay, there. now blow in that for five <laughs> seconds. Okay. We'll see on the side here what it's going to say. Ba -bum. And, okay. It's good. We're going over here. It says calculating. Okay. Ah! He can't <laughs> <drive. Another> point oh <laughs> nine, And you should not. Estimated time to zero is going to be six hours exactly Whoa. until you're sober. $9. And, and do you get a bunch of those uh, mouth... You get, you get a couple mouthpieces with the product, so you can share them with other people. You can also wash them and reuse them, or you can purchase additional ones to have. Yeah. This is really a, a great thing before you go <laughs> out driving. So now we know why the camera is uh, all over the place. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> does a great job. That exactly. is awesome. I love back, black, back. Oh my gosh, can't even say they're there. Maybe I'm <laughs> drunk. Oh my gosh. Yes, uh, yeah, we track. have to get you one of those. <laughs> I, I, so I did have a little keychain version, um, and uh, I actually ended up buying it at, uh, at Best Buy. And I love that thing. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a fantastic to, if, if you're just like, you know, I really like, I had two drinks a long time ago. I really think that I'm fine to drive home. It's good to just know, to just know yeah. that you're legal. 
Um, and so, uh, I, I, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, and now the thing is they, they, they always call it police grade. So I don't know if, right. if that's a real thing or if, if that's something a PR person made up because I was just thinking, so you, you do that and the backtrack says fine. And then a cop stops you and uses his and says, you're drunk. Yeah. Can you challenge him? And you go, wait and a you second. Go, no, I have a police grade C6 latest version backtrack. Let us compare. Right. Will that get you off? I don't I, know. I don't know. Uh, I assume not because I assume that, <laughs> that their equipment is their equipment, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you might be able to take it to court and say, Oh, that'd be you interesting. Know, that'd be interesting. Maybe your equipment wasn't calibrated or something like that. That, that um, could be. And I do remember talking to a backtrack uh, representative at one of the CESs, and I, he did say that there was a technology difference. It was, it was like, one would sort of just like, I, I don't know how it would work exactly, but he did say that there is a technology difference between some of the different sizes of the backtracks. So, you know, that little keychain version that I had, it right. used a different way to sense the alcohol than the larger, more impressive version. Um, and he said that, it, that uh, the keychain one could only tell, say, to um, a hundredth, but the bigger one could tell oh, to the okay. thousandth place, uh, decimal okay. place. Now, th so, this one is on a keychain. Right. It's, it's about the size of a 9-volt battery. But also there's, uh, I forgot what they call their technology, um, but maybe there there's different grades of, uh, as, as you said, they, they probably have, for the higher end units, not, not in size, but in price, the, uh, the workings are more accurate. Right. And as a matter of fact, it's very funny because the newest one, uh, is lower priced than some of the other ones. Yeah. I was just looking yeah, at it's that. It's interesting. Yeah. Is, yeah, this C6 is, you know, it's $70 ish. That, um, yeah. And that's, that's the one that she said it was being released a day yeah. after, uh, Pepcom, which is last week, so it's definitely in the marketplace. This is probably what you had, right? You know, I don't even know if mine had a screen at all. I think I oh, was okay. required to use the okay. app. Um, they do have a lot of products, so <laughs> right. Well, I had the I had the cheapest version. I think it was three dollars, and if you couldn't find the straw to blow in, you were drunk. So it just, <laughs> it's just, it just, it told yeah. you on, on the instruction book, it said, if you cannot find where to blow into this and you cannot blow in it for three seconds, yeah. throw it away, you're it was, drunk. You know, I was talking about the 10th place, the 100th place. This was a binary test is really yes, what exactly. it was. Either you were exactly. drunk or you weren't. That was, <laughs> that's, that's that was right. it. That's right. Uh, that's right. That's very funny. Uh, Anyway, but yeah. I, I love these products, and uh, having a more accurate, less expensive version is just good news, in my yeah. opinion. And if you want to have one at a party, yeah. I looked online, and it's like um, like a dozen of those mouthpieces are like $13, and they're washable, so you could uh, buy a set for parties and then just, just wash them. Right. And, uh you know, make sure your guests are are not drunk before they leave, so you're not responsible. Yeah, so you're not liable. This is great. There you go. There Every you go. American party needs to have that because of litigation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yes, exactly. Our our world has certainly changed recently, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you the are invited. Are gonna are gonna have a little backtrack devices at the door. Right. <laughs> no, they're gonna have a they're gonna have someone at the door with a clipboard. Sign. You will not sue yes. us. Exactly. For food poisoning, drunk driving. Exactly. Or, or, or yeah, you're not the, coming in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, third one is for you because you'll explain a little more about it oh. after we see it. And um, am I still here? Yeah, you're here. Oh, okay. It's a funny chat. I just heard the Skype Wow. You know, the sound when you sign <laughs> off, the, whoop, whoop, the wish. And whoop, I thought, whoop. oh, my God, somebody just signed off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is for you, Chad. Here we go. Okay. We're at Monoprice. We love Monoprice because they always have neat stuff. And we see this. 
And we see Ooh. Isaac. So Isaac will reveal. Ta da! Isaac. Ah, a resin. This is our mini, mini deluxe SLA printer. Our mini deluxe SLA printer uses shadow masking technique to actually project UV light to cure a UV based resin, layer by layer, to make 3D prints not so dissimilar from this guy. Well, what is that? A fish? You know what? It's just a little design that I found. Uh, there's a number of repositories online that have plenty of different models that you can print out. I found him, decided to make him. You know what? I'm going to come stand next to you, sure, Isaac, absolutely. so that. Okay. So, Isaac, do you have any idea how long it took to print this little guy? You know what? This guy took about uh, two and a half hours. Okay. So, not, not terribly long in terms of 3D printing. And, and you know, how does this the process work differently than a filament printer? Sure, absolutely. So instead of using a filament where you actually are pushing a filament through a hot nozzle or a thermoplastic through a hot nozzle, this is actually using a resin which specifically cures at a 405 nanometer wavelength or basically at UV light. And, and when this is working, is this down there? It is absolutely. So your prints will actually start in the vat just like that and as time goes on it'll be lifted slowly up every layer curing once until it creates the entire object for you. Okay now printers like this are usually in the thousand right in the thousand? Absolutely generally the market price would be somewhere in the ballpark of 2500. 2500 okay and knowing mono price this one is under a thousand. Absolutely we went for 599. $599, okay. And the model name? This is the Mini Deluxe LCD SLA printer. Okay, and when is that available? It is available right now at www.monoprice.com <laughs> and once again at $599. $599. And the Gookum? You notice how you notice how tech how technical I am. The resin. The resin is available. See, he, he understood Gookum. That's good. The resin. Twenty dollars a bottle for two hundred and fifty milliliters. We are also bringing out five hundred and full liter models as well at fifty dollars for the full liter. Okay. And uh, Isaac, so like, how many of these could you print with one bottle of that? I'm trying to get a sense. Of Absolutely. So what I did was hollow this out. Because it's hollow, I could probably print five to seven of these. With, uh, for $20. For $20. I, I like it. <laughs> really <laughs> neat. Uh, Monoprice.com. It's not called Gookum. Okay. Uh, Dick Bartolo, Mads Mattis, writer in the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv at Monoprice. Wow. So now Monoprice has basically every type of printer that you could possibly make. They Well, they don't have, uh, there's a like a powder version, but those are like super expensive that you could like almost inkjet. So it's total color printing. Um, oh my but gosh. so <clears throat> they have- That's know, this, the filament, This right? is the filament. This is the original uh, filament. They've actually since come out with an upgraded version. They're, they have the Delta printer, which is the one that uses the three arms and uh, keeps a, a one head kind of moving. Um, and there's the plate doesn't move at all, that sort of stuff. And now oh, okay. they have a resin printer, which is also super duper cool. So the things that you are excited, or like if you are a person who wants to print in resin or wants to wonder why someone would print in resin is because the detail is way finer. You can get such nicer like uh, gray, uh, gradients and, and curves and things like that uh, that don't have the bumps that are on a normal 3D printer. Um, yeah, I think they said like jewelry and dental work. Yeah. Uh, you would use this kind of. Right. Uh, and, and also there's a cheaper version. Uh, they make it without the LCD screen for four ninety nine. Right. So but this is with the 3D, uh, with that, the yeah, LCD yes. screen. And then this is without the LCD yeah. screen. And so if you don't use the LCD screen, you basically need to print using uh, Wi-Fi or an Ethernet connection. But if you have the LCD screen, you can plug in an SD card and then choose the SD card and, and choose whatever you want off of the SD card um, if, if that's what you want to do. So I'm impressed, uh, really impressed. There's, that's where your resin would sit and it just fills this whole re reservoir. And then there's a little light that basically uh, shines <clears throat> to cure the resin and then it would move up a layer and 
resin would fill in again underneath. Um, and that's, that's just how it works. You do need to make yeah. sure that like the resin isn't gonna get caught in your 3D print, but other than that, you're good. Um, it's pretty incredible, pretty cool. No, that's I liked it, and, and also I didn't even understand it, but it said it has an auto support generator, and that is software that can automatically generate support elements needed. Do you understand what that means? Yes, I do. So uh, that's interesting um, because so normally what you do with a three D print, and maybe things have changed since I've looked at it, but you go into what's called a slicer, which is software. So it's it's basically like Photoshop but for three D prints, and then you determine what you want your print to be like, and in that, if you have a piece that say like hangs off at a crazy angle or that c basically needs support to 3D print. Cause if you have like, let's say you have, you have a right angle, you know, and you're 3D printing up, 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 up. And then you get to this long shelf that kind of oh, goes off right. the side. Well, it doesn't have any support. So it would try to print something in midair and then your filament would just kind of fall down. So it doesn't really work. So you, what you would do in that situation is you would generate supports, which are basically little temporary uh, structures that will fill in that space and then you can print just fine and then after your print you break it off you tear it off oh, uh, okay. because it's it's made in such a way so normally you would do that with a slicer it's interesting that they're saying that they can auto generate it maybe in the printer so you could just give it a file that doesn't have any supports and say go and then it wow. will incorporate those uh for you which might alleviate a few steps in your slicing procedure. Um, so yeah. Sounds sounds good to me. Yeah, and then Captain Jay is saying, do you think there are third party resin sellers or just monoprice? Most likely you can use lots of different resins. You could use whatever type of resin you want as long as it's specified to the uh, 250, uh, you know, uh, what, what did they call that, milli, uh, wavelength, uh, whatever he said in the video. <laughs> yes, I'm not, whatever, whatever, I, whatever he said, I'm having what exactly, he's having. Exactly, but, <laughs> but that wavelength, that light wavelength, that UV white light, light wavelength that he mentioned, you could probably buy any third party resin that as long as it will cure at that wavelength, uh, it'll be just fine. Uh, nanometer, mm. there we go, thank you guys. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> vanilla wafers, whatever. Vanilla wafers, that's what Vanilla wafer the part, that's wavelength. The part I understood. There you go. That's the part I understood. <laughs> so that got me thinking. Do you remember another printer that used resin that we talked about a while yeah. back? Yeah, we did. We co we've covered this before, for sure. Yes. I can't remember the, the name oh of that no. printer. The, the oh, oh no. no. All right, so Ooh. let's. I sent you a link. Okay. The oh no was the $99 printer that used your phone as half of the printer. Oh, that's right. Yes. See, now, that is right. at, 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 at uh, the Luxury Technology Show last March, a year ago March, which is now 16 months ago, they said they were in town to deliver the first 1,600 units or you know, something like that. Well, now... Going to their website, it seems they have yet to deliver anything. Right. And it says, update, we've been working on getting all the last pieces together for you. We've also been running test prints nonstop. This was... Yeah. Uh, and Chad, go back up. They have now gotten... Uh, uh, I'm, that, go I'm looking at the price. Look at 16,000 backers what? 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 for two... What? And a third million dollars. Oh, <laughs> we are in the wrong. How many times do we have to, to play this fiddle? We are in the wrong business. <laughs> Holy cow. $2.3 million. Dollars, but some very unhappy backers. I was scrolling through yeah. the notes and they were going, God, give us a break. Stop telling us that it's. You could have yes. you could have a business that's that had twenty three employees at a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> salary for an entire year. That's incredible. What? God. 
I, yeah, I know. I know. With, with two and a third million dollars and only 16,000 people, they could have sent them all monoprice printers <laughs> and put their name on it. <laughs> yeah. And then everybody wouldn't have been so angry at them. Oh um, boy, that's one of the problems of, I, I guess, you know, when I saw it, I thought, how could this work that your phone is half of the printer and you you saw on that monoprice printer there was the uh like the mini swimming pool where you pull it poured the uh, yeah. five and this was a like a vat you dropped your phone in and then you put a piece of glass over it to protect your phone and then you poured the resin on that right anyway it seemed it seemed like it was going to take a ton of engineering and i guess they didn't realize so exactly how much engineering yeah. basically what what would happen is you know this resin vat uh there's a light underneath there that will move around or if it's a bright enough type screen it would just like light up pixels basically uh, probably not if they're if they're working at they said down here 20 nanometer uh yeah 20 microns oh my gosh 20 microns of uh resolution um, then they pr probably have something else uh, than just a really high resolution screen. Um, but that is what is creating the curing process. So that light. So in the Ono, the light is coming from your phone is basically what's happening. And that is curing the resin and then it will just move up. <clears throat> right, and then you get something and it's like all crinkly and someone says, what is that? And they said, well, someone made a phone. Someone called me. <laughs> I got a text I was, message. I got a while notification. While I was printing this, I, uh, this vase, someone called me on Skype. <laughs> you see that? See that, Ben? That's a, that's a Skype that call. That seems so plausible. You'll have a vase, and in the middle, there'll be a text message notification, a little thing, just kind of sticking that's out right. on the edge. <laughs> that's right. Call Murray. Why, why, why does your vase yes. say call Murray? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the that's an update on the Ono, on the Ono and the Monoprice. Olo. Uh, Olo. It, oh, yes, yes. Oh, I think you shouldn't shouldn't call a product Ono. It's called it's called Ono up here, but then down here it's called the Olo. It, it was originally called uh, Ozo, I think. Here it is for at Olo. Oh, oh Olo. 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 Yeah, I, I have no idea. It changed mid. I I didn't realize it didn't change it all the way through. Uh, you know it. Oh, this it's supposedly working, right? Yeah, there, there it is, working. Um. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> well, back in June, you they only never had call a product with... anything with no in the name. Would you remember the? I think there it was called the no no, uh, which was the laser hair removal thing that. Uh, um, oh, that Leo had. That Leo had. And that was and horrible. That was horrible. And that was, was it's it expensive. $350? <laughs> exactly. It was crazy. And, and Leo said all it's doing is burning the hair off his arm. And, and they was complaining that the studio smelled terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And now, and, and that whole head that the other guy made, he said it took about two hours was, was, uh, two uh, yeah, two hours. Yeah, this this little itty bitty vase, which <laughs> if if I'm estimating based off of the size of this phone, that little vase has to be uh, <laughs> yeah, half inch thick or something like that. Tiny, itty bitty. That takes three hours to make. If I if, yeah. there it goes. There it is. Three hours and three and a half hours. Yo, oh, yeah, three, yeah, three hours. Almost four hours. <laughs> Almost four hours. Like a half inch vase. Like I had a whole skull. <laughs> it was like you know, palm sized. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm not buying either. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll have a few more things from uh, Pepcom next week, but in the meantime. It's your final what is summer it? fun. <laughs> what was that? What is that? this issue that we always have? It's the uh, crappy corner issue. Uh, what what is it? It? <laughs> okay. <laughs> One second. We might we might lose a. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. You know you don't. There we go. It. 
but yeah. you might want it at chance. Oh. Crappy Corner. Get All right, it. so Captain J uh, 3D printed a chess set. Oh, and cool. it took six days yeah. for all the pieces and the board. Ooh, yeah, I awesome. like. Ooh, yeah, we got uh, we got some summer fun right here. So oh, oh. We're checking out the water wubble. Um, <laughs> have you ever heard of wubble before? Wubbles? No. It's a brand that's been around, um, and they focus on making basically bubbles that are indestructible. Um, so oh. Wubble's been around here. Let me see if I can just uh, find right before we go into the video. Yeah. Um, this is really what they're known for is these Wubble bubbles. And here we go. Oh, wow. They have this is like the as seen on TV uh, template here. But you can see Wubble slime. Oh, bubble, oh bubble okay. Color changing. Oh, um, okay. And so this is really what they're known for is these bubbles that are really hard to break uh and and they're you know really Whoa, fun to play with and stuff like that. Cow. so you can see you know they're really putting it to the test and trying not to break uh the wow <laughs> the, the competitive oh what are you there. kidding me yeah exactly people so, sitting on them so this is what they're known for oh okay um, but they have a summer fun product so i went ahead and checked it out and I record a video earlier. Hey, Dinky D. So we are here out here with the Water Wubble. Sorry about now, the Wubble's construction in the background. That has actually made a whole bunch of different like balloon-like products. Well, this is supposed to be a water balloon that you can reuse over and over and over again. So here they are. Uh, and the basic oh, premise good, is good that Charlie. this water balloon Charlie's back. won't be broken when you throw it. And how it works is inside is there is a, a little valve like this. So you can fill this up oh. with a water bottle, with a hose, with your faucet. And then once you're done, you can just kind of slide it right back into the quote unquote water balloon. And then it will stay pretty sealed until you throw it at something. And then it will break apart and work like a uh, basic normal water balloon. The only oh. issue is that uh, it will really only, the water will only escape from that hole. So <laughs> this is where you're hoping uh, that uh, all of the water will fall out uh, and hit your friends. The other issue is, I filled up all of these earlier, some of them are better at holding a seal than others, so this one is pretty much all air and very little, uh, very little water. So, Char Char, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's toss this Joey, up Joe, the that, wall that, to see how much water we can get to uh, splash out. <laughs> and none, no water. Charlie goes and runs off with it. Let's, uh, let's try another. Maybe that one hit just a little bit weird. Okay, we got some water out of that one. <laughs> he wants one. it. Where's the other one? Oh, I just got hit Charlie with some water. Okay, let's try another. Of course, you know, a person would be the best. You, maybe the cameraman. Maybe we should toss it. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, here we go, one more. <laughs> so, it's a little hit or miss. Uh, but you know what? To be honest, normal water balloons are a little bit hit or miss also. You know, I've seen plenty of water balloons hit someone and then not break at all. And then we can just take these back inside. In fact, I might even be able to use some of the water here that's in the bowl and fill it right back up. And then we have a water balloon ready to go without actually needing to go and buy new water balloons. So there you go, that is the Wubble, Water Wubble, uh, water balloon balls, and uh, I'd say that they work pretty okay, pretty okay. So you get eight of them inside of the uh, Water Wubble uh, uh, packaging, um, and they're in, four, in two different colors, so four of each color, so you get four red, and for blue, so if you wanted to like have two different teams, um, you could know you know which which team gets the water balloon. Um, 
you know, the, the perfect ex thing that you would want with a water balloon is after it hits someone, it just totally breaks and then would totally soak them. Um, and that's probably not gonna happen with the Wubbles because you have to use, it has, to, all the water has to come out through that little, uh, oh, through that, I through see. that hose. So you still might get them a little bit wet, but um, you're probably not going to get them totally soaked like you would with the perfect water balloon uh, that like would fall and and uh, and f and hit them and break. But and, and how much is a box? <clears throat> oh, uh, so they're not expensive. They're not too expensive. Um, I believe it was around ten dollars. Let me triple check right before okay. uh, we jump into this. I bought them at Target, and so you can buy them uh, at Target as well. Yeah, so twelve dollars, twelve seventy. Four is the price uh, that you can pick them up at, at Target. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> now of course at Target they also have uh, one of our favorites, which is the uh, those water balloons that you can add to a hose and blow them all up at once. Oh, I love those. Um, and so they do. This is kind of like the competition. I feel like is either a forever water balloon or a water balloon that is easy to and to quickly fill. Uh, basically, so that's the Wubble, Wubble, Wubble. Water okay. Sports Balls. Okay. Um, a nice cool thing is they're really easy to fill up on the go. Is you really could, if you just had a water bottle, you could fill them up. Uh, or if you had an ocean nearby, you know, you could just use the salt <laughs> water or a pool. Ocean um, sold separately. <laughs> ocean sold separately, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, so that is the, the Wubble. I don't want to spray that all over my computer. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. On, uh, our, we, we have a letter from a viewer, an email. Uh, hi, Dick and Chad. Uh, when I'm nervous, I talk a little too fast and ramble. I hope my video makes sense. Ange in Dothmouth, Dothmouth uh, Canada. Uh, Ange, uh, we understand your video, so let's take a peek at it. Yo, Dick and Chad. Wanted to show you my uh, favorite uh, electronic. It's called the Mighty Dwarf. It's a amplifier. You sit it down on any surface, and the surface that it's sitting on turns into the speaker. Similar to the one that the gentleman a few weeks ago was showing off. I'll call this the maybe the upgraded version of it. It uh, takes an M takes a micro SD card right wow. there. I was gonna put the SD card with some tunes on it while I was recording this video to show you how well it sounds, but it sounds just as good as that gentleman's was. Same more idea. And, uh, because I used it with my iPhone 6 that I'm recording the video on, and, uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to cooperate, or I think I maybe I tried it and it didn't quite cooperate, playing tunes via Bluetooth while I was recording this video. So, uh, just try, um, go by the, but, uh, it's definitely just as good sounding as that gentleman's, uh, was a few weeks ago, except the sucker a, seems a lot heavier. It's pretty pretty solid. But you make a, make a good paperweight. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, love your show. Catch you later. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, and you know it looks. It doesn't look exactly like a camera lens. It does. I I I swore <laughs> that this was a video about a camera lens. So before. did I. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, um, anyway, that company makes a ton of stuff. Um, I didn't write the name down. Um, was Mighty it Dwarf. Mighty Dwarf? Yeah, Mighty Dwarf. There it is. Uh, they make a lot of stuff, including the one that Ann showed us there. And they're mostly uh, sort of inexpensive. Oh, I guess it's a, a Canadian company, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Um, Anyway, Ange, yeah. thank you for that. I see you're from Canada, so I'm going to autograph a picture to you, uh, scan it, and send you a high-res image. Uh, there, There's hers uh, right at the bottom, I think, there. Um, the Mighty Dwarf. Wow, is that 26, 26 watts? 26 watts, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Holy cow. 
Yeah. Well, what is the cost on that? Just click on the uh, buy now. Oh, 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 right up there, right down there. Here we go. Official yeah. online store. That oh, then. U.S. Let's choose the U.S. version. Your U.S. Oh, now we got. To find <laughs> they it don't have it. <laughs> uh, these are just featured products. How do I get to the full catalog? Mighty Door speakers. Oh, that's a funny. Oh, there they are. Here we go. Uh, that's a five watt though. Uh, no, she had the go. biggie. Here's the twenty-six oh, there it is. watt. 70 bucks. Oh, 70 bucks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's a hefty speaker. That's why it weighs a lot. Yeah. I wow. like that you could add, I hope that this is all the same one, because I really like that you could add your own SD card and it was basically an MP3 player. Exactly. It had fast forward and, and backtrack. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I, I really like that about it. That, that sets it apart for sure, because you could load up white noise onto it and just yep. you know, play some white noise or if it was like a store situation or a party i don't know that just sounds really nice that you could just set it there forget it and let it run without the bluetooth needing anything else yeah needing anything yes. else yeah exactly yeah. like you know you'd be listening to something at a party and then you know your phone would ring and interrupt all the music so I like. That. Wait, I'm printing. I can't. Yeah. yeah, I can't use my phone for my speaker. Exactly. Uh, and also, I, I had not not one of that quality. But they're always fun at parties to put it on all the different surfaces. You right. know, the tissue box, the table, the yeah. door. Uh, so that in itself is a lot of fun. Uh, and thank you for your video. So we need one for next week. Okay. Uh, make a video. Any gadget. All right. And, and like Ange did, we just have to hear your voice and be able to see the uh, object. And uh, as she did, uh, shoot, shoot in uh, horizontal uh, two to three minutes, put it up on YouTube, send us the link. You can mark it uh, unlisted and send us the link and we will use it on the show. We're using 99.99% of all the videos that are sent in. So do it soon. Do it within the next six days. Email, uh, uh, send the uh, link to mail at gizwiz.tv. And you don't have to put it in a mailbox. You can email it. <laughs> email it to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you live in the States, you get a, a physical mad and a picture. If you live anywhere else, you get a uh, high-res image of Alfred with your name on it. So it's not one that we send to everybody. It's one we send to you. Perfect. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now, and a note from Del Neal, and he says, "You guys might want to check this out as one of your gadgets." So let's go take a look at. The pet the butler. The pet butler. <laughs> now, oh, my gosh. Now, the only reason we're showing this, of course, is it is a joke, but it is very funny. This to go back up. That, it, that, that just kills me. Uh, one down where it says you can buy the small version, which is perfect for gerbils, hamsters, and guinea pigs. The medium, ver the medium version is for cats. And then the large version, so it's very funny. So it's magnetic, and you, in theory, <laughs> look at the dog with the glasses <laughs> and the, the champagne. And there's a version with the ashtray. That's very um, funny. Yeah. So I um, believe that when you, yes, you when you buy this, you just get the box. You um, just get the box. Right. Like, exactly. And we actually had a few of these sitting around Twit. I think we had the ARM iPad stand. This, this is it. The iARM. This is what right. we had at Twit. Um, my, my favorite was the shower coffee pot. The electric <laughs> coffee pot for... Uh, so it, oh, uh, you know, I think it's... There it is. Is it the, the bubble there it is, brew? There it is, bathe there and it brew. Ba bathe and brew. <laughs> <laughs> is that the funniest thing? An electric coffee pot right under your shower head. Oh my gosh. This is it's very. <laughs> I feel and like they, uh, there was a, a mad magazine writer who took a day or two off and yes, made I think this. 
<laughs> I think you're absolutely right. I mean, they're done. They're very well. They did the models. The artwork is wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, the earwax candle is gross. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, but they're all very funny. Um, and the object is that you give them that with a real gift inside. So yeah. at first, just freak them out. And <laughs> the the knapsack, which is just, <laughs> yeah, this is just so funny. I was just like, <laughs> you could fall asleep on, <laughs> on the ski lift. Yes. In in the office, it's almost, it's almost as funny as the uh, that thing that they really sold the, the ostrich oh thing gosh, you put over yes. your head. Golly, uh, that thing. So that I, I mean, for what they are, eight bucks. I guess is pricey when you think of it. But they put a lot of effort into these. These are not uh, cheaply done. They a lot of artwork, a lot of great copy. Um, and very I mean, funny Some, for sure. The, the first time I saw this, it was just sitting on the shelf, and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me! That we have one of these <laughs> yeah. sitting around. We have an eye arm. Who suit? What company was dumb enough to make this? <laughs> I mean, I was totally fooled until someone was like, "You know, that's just a box. That's just oh, a joke. oh, that's very I was funny. Like, that's oh good. no, oh gosh, <laughs> I fell for it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's good. It's very good. Yeah." Uh, so that was Dell. Dell, thanks so much. Uh, thanks, we Del. didn't know about that. Well, I knew about the line, but we didn't know about the pet butler, especially the little one for gerbils and uh, guinea pigs. It's perfect. You learn a lot. You learn a lot on this show. I hey. mean, some people just think it's silliness. I beg to differ. <laughs> no, it's serious business. Serious. It's serious business. Exactly. Serious business. Uh, right now, this is the last time we're going to remind you to play What the Heck Is It? So get on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show where you get to guess what the gadget is. Dickie D takes a photo of a gadget, and this is the gadget, the full gadget, not just part of the gadget. And you have to guess what the heck it is. Um, and it's, it's obvious to me that this uh, is a... CD Caddy, where you load up your CDs uh, on this spindle, and then it will actually spin them, and then it can shoot it to you across the room. Uh, so it's just, they just got to, and you just catch them, and then you can put it into your CD ROM wow. computer. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. There's six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for hilarious, clever, interesting. And thoughtful answers, so get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Thank you so much to our Patreons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. This is where you can help support the show every single episode, and we absolutely love our patrons. Thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting the show. Uh, if you don't want to give reoccurring, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, our home, and click the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link on that page. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. We love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Speaking great. Of, it's great. It is great. I mean, we're in four four years of uh, creating independent shows. Which uh, is this is our 164th incredible. show wow. sponsored by those people out there. Wow. Holy cow. It's great. Um, also, head on over to gizwiz.tv to catch previous episodes, to find links to subscribe, or to watch the show live and in color <laughs> with smell o vision um, at gizwiz.tv around uh, 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time, just about every Thursday. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be at the top of our website so that you can be in the know. Um, and you'll, you'll be back with a new theme. I will be. So if you yes. want to choose next month's theme, be a patron right now so that you'll get the link uh, later on. And uh, we'll choose next month's crappy corner off of the list. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be fun. Awesome. Perfect. That about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz. Don't forget to send in your videos for the Gadget Warehouse. And we'll see you next week. I'll be here.